video, I am going to discuss about factors of difference of two squares. Now you see, the factor factoring, alright, factoring the difference between two squares is actually a special type of factoring. Okay, it is a problem often used in mathematics. Right. So fast ko lang tayo. We know that the product of the sum and difference of two binomials is the difference between two squares. That is, okay. Say for example, you want to multiply x plus y and x minus y. Getting the product of these two binomials, we know that their product or the answer is just equal to x squared minus y squared. Hence, the difference between the two squares. Alright? Now, conversely, and conversely, the factors of the difference of two squares are actually the product of these two, uh, the sum and the difference of these two numbers. Alright? So, yan yung gagawin natin ngayon. Ang ibibigay ko sa inyo ay isang details. Tapos, kailangan itigil niyo sa akin yung factor for niya. Yun yung matututunan nyo ngayon dito sa video na to. So, with that being said, what are you waiting for? Buckle up because you're in for another fun math pool run. Alright, so mga masters, uh, in factoring the difference of two squares, kailangan nyo lang tandaan tong two steps. Alright? The first one is to get the principal square roots of each squares. And then second, using these square roots, we have to form two factors, a sum and a difference. And that's it. Sometimes, yung ibang polynomials, nagsisimula kasi talaga, pag, pag kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin ay factoring, ang una talaga natin step, kahit anong polynomial pa yan, is to check if there is any common monomial factors. Alright? Pagkatapos nun, pagkatapos mo ang i-determine kung meron ba o wala siyang common monomial factor, you can proceed in each of the respective rules na sinusundan ng special product na yun. Alright? Kasi may kanya-kanya yan. Eh. Bawa special products, may kanya-kanya ang paraan kung paano sila ito factor up. Alright? So, hindi na natin papatagalin pa. Let's work on the first example. Alright? So, you have uh, factor 9 is squared minus 1. Of course, dapat, hindi kayo basta-basta nag-proposit lang sa pag-factor out. Kailangan nyo malaman kung talagang BTS ba yan. Because, this rule only applies kapag ka ang given na polynomial ay isang BTS. So, BTS, so malalaman nyo naman agad eh. <laughs> malalaman nyo naman agad kung BTS siya. Kasi, una, binomial siya. Pangalawa, the first and the second term, or the first and the last terms are both perfect squares. Tapos, ang pangatlo, it is always separated by a minus sign. Okay. Yun lang yung titignan ninyo kung BTS or hindi. Alright, so first example, you have 9a squared minus 1. Binomial, check. Two terms lang yan. Tingnan natin kung parehas na perfect squares yung dalawang terms na bigay. 9 is a perfect square, obviously. 1 is a perfect square as well. Tama? But how about the variable? Paano mo malalaman kung perfect square siya? Eh, letter yan. Madali lang ang sagot, mga masters. Malalaman nyo na perfect square, yung variable, kapag ang kanyang exponent ay divisible by 2. Ganun lang kasimple. So, since uh, 2 yung exponent ng a, and 2 is divisible by 2, therefore, a squared is a perfect square. Alright? So, now, we can proceed in uh, sa first step ng upan mag-factor ng isang BTS. Let's start. Alright. So, you have this solution. Alright. You have 9a squared minus 1. All we have to do is again get the principal get the principal square roots of each of the two squares. So ganito lang. Kunin na natin yung square root nito. So you have the square root of alright, so the square root of 9a squared is simply equal to the square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of a squared madali lang. Paano nga ba kinukuha yung square root ng isang variable? Simply divide its uh, exponent by 2. Alright? Kaya nga dito pa lang, sa unang pa lang, para matitermine mo kung perfect square siya. Diba? Yun na nga yung plano kung divisible ba siya ba ito. Kasi nga, kapag kinuha mo yung square root niya, you are going to divide its exponent by 2. Alright? So, you have 3. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, therefore, the square root of the square is just 8. Alright? Next, as for 1, so you have, the square root of 1 is the positive, and then, the square root of 1 is 1. So, this is the principal root of, the principal root of 1. Alright, so, nakuha na natin ngayon yung square roots na itong dalawang given na squares. Ang kailangan na natin gawin, yung step 2 ay magpo-form na tayo ng factor 4. Isang sum, isang difference. So, therefore, 9 is squared minus 1 is just equal to the product of, we have 3a and 1, tapos dito naman 3a and 1. So, 
isang sum, isang difference. And that's it. That's how you factor. Ito na yun. Ito na yung uh, factor form ng 9a squared minus 1. Alright? Alright, so let's have example number 2. We have factor 121g raised to 4 minus 169a raised to 6. Check out it. May bait, uh, common monomial factor ba? We have 121 and 169. So they are relatively prime with one another. Same goes with g and h. Next, BTS ba siya? Binomial, check. May minus sign, check. Titignan lang natin kung perfect square sila. 121 is a perfect square. 169, yes. G and H, tignan nyo yung exponents nila. Um, yung exponents ba nila ay divisible by 2? We have 4 and 6. They are both multiples of 2, hence therefore divisible sila parehas ng 2. Therefore, both G and H are perfect squares. Alright, next. So, let us proceed to the first step on how to factor out a DTX. Get the principal square roots of each of each of the two squares. Alright, so let's start. Okay, so you have the square root of 121g raised to 4 is equal to 11g. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so the square root of g raised to 4 is just g squared. Next, the square root of 169h raised to 6 is equal to 13h3. Okay, so these are your principal square roots. Tapos, proceed to the second step, the last step. For using these two roots, form the two factors, a sum and a difference. So therefore, 121g raised to 4 minus 169h raised to 6. Alright, so you have 121g raised to 4 minus 169h raised to 6. This is equal to the product of 11g squared plus 13h cubed times 11g squared minus 13h cubed. That's your answer. That's your factor form. Now, there is a question na, uh, Miss, pwede po bang pagbalik ka rin po yung sign? Mauna po yung minus plus, saka ako po gagawin yung plus? The answer is yes, mga matters, because this is multiplication, so it is commutative. Therefore, the order doesn't matter. Let's have our third example. Factor A squared over 25 minus 1. So, this is a DTS. Binomial, perfect squares yan. How will you know if the given fraction is a perfect square? Look at its numerator and its denominator. Tingnan nyo kung perfect square yung nasa numerator at perfect square din yung nasa denominator. Kapag parehas sila perfect squares, therefore, that fraction is a perfect square number. Alright? So, you have A squared, perfect square, 25 is a perfect square. So, A squared over 25 is a perfect square. 1 is also a perfect square minus sign. So, this is a DTS. No common monomial factors because these two terms are relatively prime with one another. So let us proceed. Let us get its principal uh, square root. So you have the square root of a squared over 25. So how, how uh, do you extract the square root of a fraction number? Very simple, mga masters. Ang uh, gagawin niya lang is to extract the square root of both the numerator and the denominator. Alright? So what is the square root of a squared? Divide lang natin sa yung exponent niya. Therefore, its square root is a over, what's the square root of 25? We have 5. And that's it. It's the, that's the principal square root of a squared over 25. Next, do the same process for 1. So the square root of 1 is equal to 1. And there you go. We have our principal square roots. Therefore, right? so therefore, a squared over 25 minus 1 is simply equal to the product of A over 5 plus 1 times A over 5 minus 1. Let's have example number 4. Alright, so you have factor 50H cubed minus 72HJ squared completely. As you can notice, 50 and 72 are not perfect squares. H cubed and H are not perfect squares as well. However, dito napapasok yung concept ng common monomial factoring. Because as you, if you are going to look closely, 50 and 72, meron silang GCF. H cubed, then you have an H here, ibig sabihin may common factor din sila. So, ibig sabihin, the first step in um, solving this kind of uh, problem, alright, is or to factor this kind of polynomial, we have to get its uh, greatest common monomial factor first and then we're going to use that GCF okay, to get the, the other factor. Alright, so let's start. We have 50H 
cubed minus 72h j squared. So this is the solution for this. Okay, so what is the common, the greatest common factor of 50 and 72? Alright, the common factor of 50 and 72 is equal to 2. Okay, so you have 2. Next, what about h cubed and h? Para sila may h, ibig sabihin common factor yan. And the greatest common factor between these two is h. Don't forget, kapag GCF ng variable sa pinag-uusapan natin, you will always get the variable with the least exponent. So, dito, between h cubed and h, si h yung mas mababa. Kaya siya, ha? GCF. Now, using this greatest common monomial factor, we are going to get the value of the remaining factor na to. Alright? So, all we have to do is just to divide both terms by whatever our GCF is. Okay? So, going to lang, pakita natin. So, you have 2H and 2H. Okay? And that will give us uh, yung quotient. Ayan. Yung magiging quotient na to, yun yung remaining factor. Alright? So, number sa number, letter sa letter. Ganun lang naman lagi. 50 divided by 2, 20. Five. H cubed divided by H. So, may tanto ka na dito. Pagawasan lang ang isa. That is the quotient law of exponent. So, we have H squared. Alright? Minus 72 divided by 2 is 36. H divided by H is already equal to 1. So, therefore, we will just copy J squared. Alright. So, ayan. Nasimplify na natin. So, from this original na binomial, naging ganito na siya. This is the first factor form of this given na polynomial. However, meron tayong term na completely. So, we will not stop here. Alright? Kasi, kung mapapasin nyo, this binomial is already a DTS. So, we can now proceed in the steps on how to factor a DTS. So, get the square root. Square root of 25 h squared is this equal to 5 h. And the square root of 36 j squared is equal to 6 j. So therefore, our final answer is 2H times 5H plus 6J times 5H minus 6J. Okay? And that's it. That's our answer. So for our last example, we have factor this, uh, the quantity 2 minus B squared minus 25 C squared completely. Alright, so do not um, do not expand this anymore, ha? Okay, well, you can take this one, right? So you have 2 minus B, di ba nasa loob siya ng parenthesis? Ibig sabihin, you can take it as uh, one unit lang na nasa loob. So parang, you have an option, you can either assign a variable that is equivalent to this one, or you can directly extract the square root. Because, if you will look, uh, if you will look closely, yung exponent niya ay 2. So, ibig sabihin, this whole expression right here is a perfect square. Alright? We can have 25c squared minus. So, parang binomial pa rin naman yan. Alright? So, we can now proceed to the first step, extracting the square root. And that is, and so you have the square root of 2, sorry, a 2 minus b squared is simply equal to cancel this one out. So, you have 2 minus b. So, yung binomial na yan. And, as for 25, C squared, this is equal to 5C. So therefore, right? So therefore, the quantity 2 minus B squared minus 25C squared is simply equal to the product of, so lalagyan natin ng ganito kasi, binomial nandito mo na principal root na ito eh. Okay? So you have the product of 2 minus B, the quantity 2 minus B plus 5C, alright, times the quantity 2 minus B minus Alright, so pwede na natin iwan ng ganyan lang yan kasi hindi naman sila um, like terms. So, I guess this will be accepted already, right? So, uh, ayan. Right, so that's it mga masters. Thank you for watching and I hope na nakatulong kang video sa inyo para maintindihan nyo kung paano nipapactor ng DTS or difference of two squares, right? Everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Everyone, what is fun? Bye! The storms we chase are leading up.